Welcome to boring programming stream number 17. I'm Richter. Today my plan is to make a very very short stream, I think one hour. Just looking for some problems in code forces, maybe reading blogs about algorithms, something like that. Sorry for being six minutes late today. I think some settings of my camera updated and uh, because of that it didn't work in OBS. I think we should be live on Twitch and YouTube. Let me quickly check. Yes, we are live on Twitch and YouTube. Okay. Mm. Again, I didn't announce the stream on Code Forces or Facebook. I Maybe I should sometimes do that. Hello, math buddies. Uh, what what happened? What happened with what? Mm. Hello, Konal Abdul. Hi, guys. I will ping on Discord. Mm, and that's it. Richter mm. to link. Short one hour problem solving stream. Okay. I was very busy. <laughs> Hello, Mateusz. I was very busy this weekend. I didn't even have time to publish the dynamic programming lectures. What doesn't really require a lot of effort, but I didn't even find an hour. Mm. Okay, we are final. I'm finally winning here in top contribution. So, Mateusz, you can go away. Uh, I'm I'm red. You're all noobs and idiots compared to me because I'm red and you're. Good block. Mm. Is it possible to become red without a coach? Mm, yes. Not uploaded that dynamic programming video, exactly. I didn't have time, as I've just said. Mm. You don't have to have a coach, but it's it helps, right? It You will just be more efficient. Mm. There is the idea of upvote, downvote of difficulty of problems, because some there is now that feature when you go to problem set, every problem has, almost every problem apparently, uh, has a difficulty rating. Mm. I don't really look at them because I'm used to just looking at the number of accepted submissions. Mm. And the thing is, they are not really accurate. Somebody proposed an idea of voting for difficulty that something is overestimated or underestimated. I said that mm, it would be better to just experiment with formulas. Maybe that's not a good idea, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just too hard to achieve. IOI format in mashups. Something from two years ago. Doesn't matter. At Coder Beginner Contest. I've heard that At Coder Beginner Contest has have very nice quality of problems. I might take a look. Uh, how about Segment Tree Lecture? Not in this month. I still have, I think, two DP lectures to do. Upload today? I think so. I hope so. Mm. Scores 100 to 600. Tasks. Rounding, bounding. Oh, this is very, very easy. You are given two integers, X and A, and you need to compare them. That's very easy. 
and say oh no wait wait a moment oh we need to print zero or ten that's strange hello Amon bounding ball with bounce along a number line making n plus one bounces it could make the first bounce at coordinate zero and then if bounce at coordinate that how many times will the ball make a bounce where the coordinate is at most x those are very short and i would say nice easy problems there's a rectangle uh, for coordinates we'll draw a straight line passing through x y to cut the rectangle into two parts find the maximum possible area of the part whose area is not larger than the that of the other and there it's always possible to cut for some point to make exactly two equal parts but the problem isn't that cool it's easy to solve, hard to prove, at least for beginners. Followed by one if there are multiple ways to cut the rectangle and achieve that maximum. So what for? If that given point is the very middle of a rectangle, then whatever you do, you will get an equal cut. Otherwise, there will be just one way, I think. Uh, how much time a day you spend for competitive programming? Not much. I think on average it's two hours now. Well, maybe more because, for example, when I have uh, recently, I gave workshops. I mean, I prepared workshops that requires time, or organize contests. So maybe that's more than that. Training is two hours a day on average, let's say, or competing. But doing something related to algorithms, five hours a day. Do you have any interesting in hacking tools? No, I don't. You haven't re viewed my captions? Yes, and I think you told me that the same thing last time. And I answered you. I will do that when I have time. Mm. Okay, so that was rectangle cutting. I didn't like it. The first two problems were fine, but just very, very easy. You're given a sequence of positive integers and an integer k. How many continuous se sequences of a satisfy the following condition? The sum of the elements in the continuous, contiguous subsequence is at least k. Okay, so that's a very... Mm, well-known application of two point two pointers technique numbers are positive yep. where you need to move with po two pointers to know for every start how far you need to go to the right so you would get an interval that has the sum at least k then you know that for this starting point you need to go get at least here then also all longer intervals are good so you add them to the answer the complexity is just often just like any two pointers problem common subsequence is it just really the standard common subsequence problem maybe not mm. In how many pairs of a subsequence of S and subsequence of T, do the two subsequences are the same in content? The subsequence of A is a, subs is a sequence obtained by removing zero or more elements. Uh, we distinguish two subsequences if the sets of the indices are different. Tremendous. Okay, so we are given two subsequences and we count common subsequences. 
which sounds like uh, some easy DP. What DP for every two indices? If they are equal, then you need the sum over all the previous values of DP. <laughs> mm, like prefix sums. Is there an editorial? If I switch to Japanese. Commentary. I don't think there is an editorial. PDF. Oh, there is, there is YouTube. Commentary is editorial. There is code for every problem. And for E, what did they say for E? Yeah, two-dimensional cumulative sum can be adapted uh, using this formula where cell is the sum of two previous cells minus i minus one, j minus one. Just I wondered whether they did something differently. Okay, mm. I can switch back to English. Actually, here I'm in English. Mm. English. What are your topics of interest in algorithms which you mastered up till now? Do I have that infrequently asked questions? If not, I should add it. GitHub doesn't work? GitHub doesn't work. Is it down for me? No, GitHub works. Okay, so it didn't work for a second. Mm. I need to add that to FAQ. The question was, what are topics of interest in algorithms which mastered? I will rephrase it a little bit. Mm. What algorithms or topics do you like most? Uh, ad hoc dp mm, combinatorics probability geometry is there something else Ad hoc DP geometry. Ad hoc is just the best when you have to think about it. Mm. I hate, maybe not hate, I don't like graphs, strings, and there was one more thing I remember. Maybe number theory. I think there's one more thing, but I don't remember. What's tourist real name? Really, you can Google it. most or topics do you like most ad hoc dp geometric combinatorics and probability i don't like graphs strings and number tier and i need to add the question that was where was it how did this true here What algorithms do you like most? Mm. 
Gennady, hooray! Yes, it's Gennady, indeed. Mateusz, how did you know that? There was an interview about Gennady recently in Code Forces. I haven't yet read it. Uh, Code Forces com uh, the interview. Yes, it's from nine days ago. Mm, I'm going to read it later. I just didn't have time. It's a very long interview. I can paste a link. Also, I need to do something to fix my chat, maybe, mm, because it should display messages below my head, like somewhere here, but it doesn't, again. I had the same issue in the previous stream and refreshing a few times helped. What algorithms or topics do you like most? Ad hoc DP geometry, combinatorics and probability, like graphs, strings and number theory. I think Mateusz in, is good in all of those three topics. Mm. Okay, back to add coder, minimum bounding box. There are endpoints. Each point starts moving at a speed of one per second in the direction parallel to the x or y axis. You are given character describing that direction. You can stop all the points at some moment of your choice. The points will move and you need to find moment with the smallest bounding box, which is again a very standard problem. But as long as they don't repeat problems among the Adcoder beginner contests, I think that's fine. This seems very good to practice. I would say it's more valuable than like Div2 Code Forces contests. I think I will start recommending it. Here, I think ternary search works. Mm. Yeah, it should. So it's ternary search and that should be it. Let's check the Japanese editorial. Or I could go to submissions. Oh, no, I didn't need to do that because I have editorial here. Translate. Detect to English. Binary change using monotis monotonicity. The value of bounding box is convex upward and the minimum value at any of section endpoints will take Okay. Uh, this is the first beginner contest on that coder that I've seen and it looks fine for beginners. It should be well-known stuff, not really convoluted statement, so I like it. I want to go to, oh, maybe I will check the standings. Are there some known names participating? I guess they don't even allow red coders to participate. Top results are like 25 minutes. I will close the window. Where is the list of contests? Upcoming beginner. How often are beginner contests? Every week? Almost every week. Here they had two in a row. 
maybe it's better to see detail recent contests let's compute the average beginner contest can I go to another page mm, past contests when was beginner contest 80 here it's 50 mm, contests ago and it was in the beginning of December half a year 50 contests which gives us what almost 10 a month that's a lot oh it's 2017 so it's 50 for 18 months mm, like almost three a month I guess now they are more common because that color is getting bigger almost uh, almost once a week my theory that you have no pants during streams was wrong uh, at least during this stream it's apparently incorrect mm. but it's hot it's so hot right now uh, once it's just hot in Warsaw plus it's very hot in my apartment I don't have good like, cooling that it really makes sense to sit without pants present contests I was talking with Radeusz about maybe making a boring stream together mm, but we haven't yet decided about that tasks beginner contest 129 let's see another set of easy problems free airports and flights between each pair of airports in both directions what is the minimum possible sum of these flight times uh, so we are given three numbers and we need to find the minimum over a plus b b plus c and a plus c or just the sum of everything minus maximum i guess Again, I like this type of problems for for division two or division three. Maybe the one about comparing two numbers was stupid. Why would you print zero or ten? It's artificial. What is this character? The mass, the square mass, Japanese. Hmm. There might be a missing character here. Also, I will try refreshing the chat. I think it should work now. Mm. You can try typing something. It should now appear at the bottom corner. The mass of the weight indexed i is w of i we'll divide these weights into two groups the weights will in, uh, within this is not greater than t and greater we have a sequence of those weights and we need to split at some point there will be left and right group s1 will be the sum of the masses of the weights in the former group in the latter find the minimum possible absolute difference i think that's a cool problem just consider all the possibilities or you can do it in linear time but they do not require it maybe here it would be nice to require that that's a nice easy problem that still requires some thinking well there are examples of problems that just don't make much sense when they have bigger constraints they are about checking one thing typical stars mm -hmm. some steps are broken and you need to just apply dp for every step you want to go to one of the next two steps and some of them are forbidden without broken steps this the answer would be fibonacci number lamp sum sql xor Some sequel XOR. 
What is Xaur? Oh, they have that hidden spoiler thing. Cool. You're given a positive integer L in base 2. It can be very long, up to 2 to 100,000. That's an unusual limit that it cannot, that it can have 100,000 plus 1 bits, right? If it was up to 2 f to the 5th, it could have exactly 5 bits. Yes, it could. That's a strange limit. How many pairs of non-negative integers satisfy the following conditions? A plus B is up to L. Uh, A plus B is X or B. The sum doesn't exceed L. And the sum is equal to XOR. The second condition just means that they don't have common ones in their binary representation. Mm. If there was one one somewhere in the first place from the right, then in the sum there would be zero at that position and XOR it would be zero as well. But then we would get another one more to the left. There are a lot of mm, formulas that you should understand well. It's something like A plus B is A. Or, or not, a xor b is equal to a plus b minus a and b. You subtract those, or and that times two. You subtract those common bits because they cancel each other. Mm. And here we have again a dp, a dp, where or maybe not for every position. We need to decide whether the, this one should be in A or in B. Mm. Plus, if we chose, if on the left there was something, one moment. So this just means no two common ones. Plus this means that. I think it's DP from the left to the right. At every position, we know the number of ways so that we fixed bits already up to that position. And the other dimension should tell us whether we already got the sum strictly smaller than given L. If yes, then we can do whatever to the right. If not, then we cannot exceed. This is standard thing with DP on digits to go from left to right and say whether we already exceed, whether we already went smaller than L. Then no matter what we'll do to the right, it will still be smaller. Mm, the problem D. Mm. Facebook hacker cap problems quality from one to ten. Five. Google code jam used to be nine, I think. Uh, but at least the recent rounds aren't that nice. Maybe it will be better at the finals. Mm. There is a grid with H horizontal rows. Oh, by the way, there is now a common trend to rank different things like fast foods or websites. So I might rank mm, the platforms, code forces at coder and so on. Mm, but I don't think I will do it now. Just to, I don't have time. That's a big issue I have right now. It will not change for the next month. There is a grid, some obstacles on some of the squares. Snook is going to choose one of the squares not occupied by the obstacle and place a lamp on it. The lamp placed on the square will emit, I will read the comment later, will emit straight beams of light in four coordinate directions. Maximize the number of squares light by the lamp. So you need to, you are given the grid, you place something at some position, and then as the score, you get all the empty points to the right, down, left, and up, till it hits an obstacle. And this is again a very standard problem. 
and it's cool they, they have those. On the other hand, I'm sure this problem already appeared in other platforms. So this is why I don't like the fact that a lot of platforms exist and they repeat the same thing. They repeat work. It's unnecessary. There should be like one ultimate platform and that's it. I don't know. Maybe there should be a system to share problems between all the platforms. I'm not sure how that would work. But everything that is standard like this problem already exists. I think half the problems that we went through today already, they already exist. And there will be one more problem F. You solved this problem in your last stream. Can you please tell me how to get the formula? What formula? Uh, well, for the rectangle of width 2, you think you use, there are two ways to put that shape in that rectangle of width 2. And then you do the same thing to the right, to the right, and so on. There you can split the given rectangle into n over two smaller rectangles, each with width two. For each of them, you have two ways. So the number of ways is two power n over two. As a beginner, should I do cut forces or add coder? I think CF division two C difficulty. I think add coder. In cut forces educational rounds and in add coder beginner contests. I wouldn't be surprised if you rate CodeChef last. Today I was trying to submit the last problem in long trends in the last 10 minutes and website should uh, 500 server error. Uh, it's always the same thing for every platform. If there is a long contest, then last 15 minutes, maybe an hour are very busy. It's the same for, I don't know, top coder, even though they have a lot of servers and money and to re like i don't like i think no platform should have a fixed schedule unless they have a lot a lot of resources in coachf and hacker Earth, i don't like the fact that they have a schedule they need to put some particular contests every month say that that contest is every month at the second on the second saturday and even if they don't have quality problems, they need to hold that contest. That contest because they said so. I think it's stupid. The platform should hold a contest when they have good problems. This is also what would allow them to reject much more problems because they are boring. In that coder, I like the fact they, that they have separate um, rounds. And for regular contests, they put more boring problems. Thanks to that, in grand contests that are once a month, but it's not fixed. They just say they will try that, but when they have no problems, they don't hold the contest. In grand contests, they have nice, very nice problems. That's, I think, the secret. Mm. Uh, was there something else? Nope. So really, the 500 server error at last 10 minutes of 10 day contest. This is normal. It will happen for every plat every platform. Mm. I mean, of course it shouldn't happen, but it does. There is an arithmetic progression with L terms. The initial term is A and the common difference is B. Consider the integer obtained by concatenating the terms written in base 10 without leading zeros. For example, the sequence would be concatenated, concatenated into that. What is the remainder when that integer is divided by m? It looks hard because when something different happens when numbers have different number of digits. We have that very long sequence and some modulo m, not necessarily prime. Mm, if all numbers had the same number of digits, let's say they were all 15 digits, then you have some remainder from the last number, then the second last number is multiplied by 10 to the 15, 
and then we take reminder and so on. That's easier. It's harder because the number of digits is different. You should binary search or compute with formula, with some division. When is the next place where numbers will start getting more digits? Let's say the first number has three digits. You should binary search what prefix has numbers with three, digit, uh, three digits. Three digits. And for that, there will be some formula. I think we'll need to use geometric progression in the process. Mm, let's see, PDF. Also, how whose YouTube is that? Does Makoto uh, do those stuff? This was this was a stream. Yes, I think this is my code. So apparently for every problem, he shows a solution on whiteboard and then he implements it. The whole thing lasts three hours. It will be harder to do for non-beginner rounds. Uh, it would take much more time. In particular, implementing everything takes time. But it makes a lot of sense for easy pro for easy contests. I could try the same thing for, I don't know, just after the educational contest on code forces, I could make a stream. But those aren't that easy. The last problem might be a challenge. Maybe it would make sense only for division three contests. I'm not going to implement from scratch on a stream all problems from a contest, also explaining that it would take a lot, a lot of time. Mm. But it's amazing that they have those. Uh, those streams, I think, I'm sure it's very useful for beginners to learn from that. I wish in Poland we had some, of course, Japan is bigger than Poland, but it would be cool to have some founding and just create, be able to create regular contests for kids to teach them. But of course, this requires a lot of resources. And I don't think Pond is big enough that there w somebody would find that many. If I'm talking about time of people and money for platform servers, maintenance. And of course, time of people is worth money. Mm. Yep. So Makato does a very nice job with AdCoder. Adcoder was, I think, a local plat. It used to be a local platform, and Makoto agreed to go there, assuming that he would have, um, he could make main decisions about those big contests. But I think he agrees with others in the company about how everything should look like, and it's cool. They have money from local sponsors. They organized some events. They recently got like $2 million, I think. Uh, it, it, I'm not sure how big that company and platform is, what costs they have. If they hire 10 people, then maybe. If they hire like three, five people, then $2 million is a lot of money. They can do 
lot of things there. If that's a company that anyway has 50 employees, then $2 million isn't that much. It's like what? One year worth of upkeep for everybody? Mm. But maybe, for example, they will uh, they will invite more people to their World Final Tour Finals. I think that's the name. World Tour Finals? Something like that. The abbreviation was uh, WTF. CF is still able to handle the same number of contestants in short contests. Looks like CoachF didn't upgrade anything in the last two, three years apart from their discuss form. You see, that's the thing with long contests. Uh, Code force, forces can have some resources because Code Forces actually uses university machines, right? In ITMO. Coach F, I guess, holds their own. And maybe it's just too hard for them to make something extra for that last half an hour. Nobody, I, maybe not nobody. It costs money to have a lot of machines, a lot of servers. And it's a waste of money if most of the time they are not used. Some solutions are scalable. And that's nice. I'm not sure how it looks like for coach. Of course, they should be able to upscale in like the last hour of long competition because a lot of people will submit them. But some things like, I don't know, databases are sometimes tricky to upscale. Uh, the same type of stream, explain only some harder problems from D or from C. Mm. You know, everybody would suggest something else about the difficulty. Everybody would like to hear those problems that are quite hard for them, but possible to comprehend. Editorials are not understandable on code forces. I don't, I don't think so. Maybe they aren't perfect. I doubt that I can create something much, much better but with drawings and being able to answer comments, you know, it has more value. Okay, I wanted to translate that, but I see some matrix, what means we will compute, to maybe not geometric progression, uh, we'll see. Uh, it has the string X and the integer S. Find first x is zero and s is a. What? 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 What is x mod m after an operation? So they describe an operation of appending a new number. Hello, s m. Assuming that the number of d digits elements is c d. So this is the number of numbers with d digits. Mm. So we need numbers below that number that has d digits 9. CD can be easily obtained by subtracting the number of elements below, yeah, or by binary search. The operation of concatenating elements d of the digits, so the and interpretation of that. You should think about those problems as you have a vector that describes the current state, the result so far and the length usually, and then you move to a different state. That is also a vector. The transformation is a matrix. And matrix, you can compute the big power of that using quick exponentation. It is the same value, and this operation can be dropped into the form of product of matrices as follows. You just need to figure out the matrix that will move from one state to the next one. Mm. Therefore, the CD power of this three times three matrix can be obtained quickly, and the result can be obtained by log of CD. Uh, that matrix exploitation. If you do the above calculation for every length, like the number of digits in this order, the final value of x mod m can be found quickly enough for overflow. Be careful. Maybe it would be better for them to give multiple test cases and instead values would be up to 1 million, then there would be no overflows. You wouldn't have to worry about it. If you have a number up to 10 to 18, 
before multiplying it with some other number, you need to first take modulo. Instead of saying a times b modulo mod, it will be a modulo mod times in brackets b modulo mod and the whole thing modulo mod. Okay, that was beginner contest. I do recommend them. Maybe I will add that to my mm, wiki question for how to practice. Mm. I have here things too long didn't read, just practice, solve problems, solve problems and solve some more problems. By doing it, you will also learn new algorithms and techniques. How to practice, how to practice a particular topic, what should I, what should I learn next, how to train for a particular competition. I can add um, what platform should I choose or use. Is there already something about editorials? Editorials. The platform doesn't matter much, but it's good to solve problems with editorials. For beginners, I recommend Code Forces Educational Rounds and Add Coder Beginner Contest. Those usually hold, those usually use. Hmm. Mm. Find a lot of standard. Dirt problems and thus you will learn important techniques. Uh, the statements are not convoluted and that's another plus. Mm. There are no English editorials for ad coder. for ABC but you can look at mm, submit you can read you can use Google Translate from Japanese or you can read submissions by people from the top let's see how it looks like Mm. Would you like to join Erichta for some interview on the stream? It would be great and you could play some games on the stream and beat Erichta every time on his own stream. Mm. Regarding beating me every time on my stream, I'm sure that Graph Wars is a game for that. Mm. I'm not sure what else we could play. Can you tell us some advice for ACMICPC contest? Something will help us during the contest from your experience. Solve problems! And don't tell each other the statement of a problem because it's possible one of you will understand it incorrectly and you will tell the other person the incorrect statement. That's very bad thing to do. How much did you train for ACM previously? Years? <laughs> My whole life? What platform should I use? The platform doesn't matter much, but it's good to solve problems with editors and public codes of other people. That will allow you to learn faster. For beginners, I recommend Code Forces Educational Rounds and Add Coder Beginners. I will change that to Code Forces because people might not know it. Code Forces, Add Coder Beginner Contests. Mm. You find a lot of standard problems and those maybe you will encounter. Uh, and those you will learn important techniques. The statements are not convoluted and that's another plus. 
There are no English editorials for ABC, but you can use Google Translate from Japanese or you can read submissions by people from the top. Not find encounter. How to train for a particular competition, focus on solving all problems. Don't worry too much about it though, it's still just about being good in algorithms. Don't waste time by solving problems from random platforms. For example, in IOA, make sure you know everything from the syllabus. To, mm, to get better in team competitions, should obviously do some solve some old team contests to get better in ICPC you should obviously solve some old team contests with a team. Mm. maybe I should point to some blog about hints tips for icpc is there some it forces count tips for icpc or, or team contest 2006 that's quite old I'm trying to find tips by some strong team. <sighs> Not found. Uh. Team strategy. Maybe this makes sense, but page is not found. Can I do anything about it? Contest wiki. How to get better. Team strategy. Yes, it's here. Let me read it to know if it makes sense. And after that, I will. I need to go. Computer time is very expensive. The beginning of the competition is the most important. General strategy. Mm. Code template. Solve easier problem first. Skim through the problem set. Other tips. Discuss it with your. Discuss solutions with your teammates. Write code on paper, do not debug on computer, sometimes do that. Mm. It looks very uh, it looks very reasonable. I will put a link for that. Uh, read more. To get better in ICPC, you should obviously solve some old team contest with a team. Read more here. Uh, cool. Uh, are you going to do a DP lecture today? Two, le two lectures are already recorded. And I think I will publish at least one today. Just I need to find time. Okay. Uh, that's it for today. You can close everything. Sorry for making this stream so short i'm just really low on time mm. see you guys tomorrow morning i'm not yet sure what i will do and whether this will be again a short stream or, or something longer possibly the last stream will be on either tomorrow or on friday mm. and then i will be abroad for almost a month for three weeks and then we'll see each other in the middle of July again. Thank you all for watching. 
for commenting, for talking with me. Like the video, subscribe if you haven't and see you next time. Bye bye.